<laughs> One of the best lines in the game, I swear. Anyway, welcome back to Star Wars Bounty Hunter. Uh, we're gonna just get right to it. This guy, don't like him. Don't like his buddy either. Uh, Alright. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Now. A quick lesson on these, uh... Pipes. I guess you can call them. Bye! Assholes. Now, some of the ones you actually do have to climb in order to get places. Such as here. Now, notice that below me there's a scorch mark. Okay. Now I'll go back down and... Ah, shit. Okay. Did not mean to do that. <sighs> yeah, for some reason that hurts you. I don't know why. Anyway, uh... There's a scorch mark right here between the arms. It's an area that's just a little bit darker than all the rest of the piping. You go... You fly straight up and you'll grab on to the next pipe. I do the same for this area. Boom, next pipe. Now you want to get your binding cord out here. This guy's wanted alive. Now you want to be careful you don't go down middle pipe there, because that will hurt a lot. Oh, fuck you, and everything you stand for. Where are you? There. Douchebag. Alright. We're just going to take our uh, flamethrower out here. Little shit. Ah, never mind. Forget those idiots. There you go. Piss off. care if those guys had bounty hunters on them. One of them probably, one or more of them probably did. I don't care. Okay. This is actually a problem. You'll pretty much just want to run through this area. There's no way to avoid getting poisoned. It's one of the game's ways of trying to weaken you before you get... So... This guy actually is one dead. And hey, I want his buddies dead, so it works. And how do I get in here? Okay. Sorry, I forgot you have to activate that stupid thing. And. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, be prepared. You're gonna have everybody shooting at you from everywhere. You can't always shoot back. That's the way this game likes it, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, 
us off. Yeah, I love how my... I love how for some stupid reason I was flying straight off. I'll try this guy. Uh, for an asshole. Okay. Ah, crap. Is there a ladder? No, there is not. Hi. See what I'm talking about? The AI is rock stupid. But. Ugh. Anyway. So, there is a ladder here. And... I think... Yep. That's another bounty. That's good. Ow. Fucking hell. And I even managed to split these two civilians. So. I wonder if either of those guys are actually bounties. Yep. Okay, it pays to double check. Literally. <sighs> Alright. So, we're doing well so far. Had a couple of close shaves, but other than that, we're doing fine. We are doing fine. Ugh. mistakes around here. Ah, shit. Okay. You know the crevice thing? Whoa! Okay, it's very good to plan out your next move while you're in here. Okay. And I just go here. Okay. Can we see any enemies from here? Yes, we can. So we're just going to nail this guy across. Alright, that takes care of him. So, you want to be very careful and make your way through, being sure to take cover when you can. Because despite what any of that looks like down there, even those rocks, I wouldn't chance on being able to land on those and not getting a game over screen or a restart level, restart from checkpoint, whatever. Okay. Ow! Fucking douchebag. And the guy fucking kills himself anyway. Ugh. Again, rock stupid AI. So, we're gonna find this guy, collect the bounty. We live. 
they died. Okay, and... Jesus Christ. Okay. Whoop. You ever wonder how, how Django Fett kept up on his cardio? Well, now you know. Alright. Here we can use the momentum and just launch ourselves towards... Oh, shit. Okay. We've gotten behind cover. Oh, okay. One of them was probably a bounty, don't care. Hey, my... My job here is to show you how to survive this shit. Okay, no. No, you two assholes can die. Okay, this next part is actually very sketchy. Alright. Wanted alive, that are alive. Eh. Eh. You're worth enough dead. <sighs> okay, this part is actually very sketchy and can kill you very quickly if you are not prepared. So, remember what I taught you in the last lesson? Always scanning your environment. Well, you're going to do that here, too. So, take note of Little details like that, where there are little uh, holes in the wall, stuff like that. Anything that looks suspicious, take note of it. Opening in the top. Not sure if that's going to amount to anything, but hey, it never hurts to be prepared. Alright, alright. Now, I would recommend being very careful around here. Okay. Ah! See? Now, as long as you're right here, or I am standing right now, he can't hit you. But... You should be able to nail him. That's a band of Gora. The long range and close range capabilities are very dangerous. So make sure that um, you're constantly checking your sides, checking your corners, checking those little crevices, everything. Because if you don't, you're going to wind up uh, probably dead. Actually, most likely dead. I'm going to guarantee it on that one. Because their toxic darts can actually take your health down pretty quick. So, I mean, they're not as powerful as sniper rifle. Fire, but... They're not far short. Okay. Now, I'm 
unfortunately, we got to play a little bit of uh, Leapfrog on these things to get up past here. No, I am not a fan of this because for some damn reason, this stuff down there might as well be lava. Okay. I obviously wasn't able to even check my rear on that one before I came over, so... But we are going to check here. Okay, obviously there's somebody there since that glows. Uh, we're going to check to see if this guy is a bounty. No, he is not. We're going to just fire a toxic dart and get rid of him. Uh, this guy too. Shit! Oh. Damn it! It switched to the fucking... You saw that. I hit the down button and it switched to the damn uh, toxic darts last time. Ugh, little cheat. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Oh. Okay, so note to self and note to you, never trust the D-pad. Always go with the whole circle. Like so. Yeah. Okay, so. That happened, and honestly, I don't think I could have done... I... It was my fault not for not just relying on only the freaking circle button there. I'm not sure what the button is on Xbox or on a computer, but... I think it's the B button on the Xbox. Because they use about the same color coordination. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, it looks like all this is clear. All right, still though, proceed with caution. Uh, sniper rifle. And we're just gonna go ahead... And yes, I know, we're just inching along here. But honestly, when you're dealing with any snipers, that's what you wanna do. You don't wanna move too fast. You don't want to try and move anywhere at, like, just the speed of thought. I know that staying in one place is not 100% advisable, uh, for obvious reasons, because then the rest of the infantry will just smoke you out, but... Uh, let's see... Die, asshole. Okay. We can collect the bounty there after we get through this. So... There doesn't seem to be... seem to be anything of note. Okay. Nothing.
Alright. Always remember to use your night vision for scanning if you're just not sure. Aha! Found one. Alright, that's done. Ugh. And that's the thing, I know I'm moving very slowly, but it's on purpose. like I'm going to have to go over here. Probably land on that little crevice over there. See where the spike is? There's a little solid ground behind it, so we're going to try and land there. Okay. Okay. And of course, we're going to scan again. Okay. Are there any enemies up here? Yes. There's actually a bounty wanted dead or alive. Uh, we're going to go for dead because we do not have time for this. We're already taking long enough getting, I mean, just getting through here. So, yeah. That's a thing. Spotting man of war, we're spotting a lot of enemies way in advance, so there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, we're gonna go for dead just because. dress in black, like they're going to a funeral, so, if you don't watch it, it's going to be yours. Now, you could do, like, you could actually use a rocket launcher and just blast these fools, but, honestly, what's the point? defense, even if we did use a rocket there, that wouldn't have done anything. It was a too flat an angle for it to actually connect to hit him. But, in any case, so. We got that guy. We got this bounty. Okay. So yeah, we're good. 
let's keep it moving, shall we? Now, there are no ranged enemies here, but there are a lot of guys that are close up. And this is why you keep the flamethrower out at all times. When you're going up against Bandogora, flamethrower is your best friend. There's a very good reason for this. <sighs> the reason you always want to be using your flamethrower is because of the fact that the flamethrower will actually stop enemies mid-swing because of the fact they're on fire. I know, it's kind of difficult to actually try and, uh, fight someone when they are, uh, when you're on fire. Okay. Okay, is there any health and stuff in here? Plenty of health, and a heavy- you SHIT! Duh. Toxic darts also work well, too. Just an FYI. <laughs> uh. Anyway, so... Let's do that. Okay. I'm ready. This isn't supposed to go back up. Okay. Uh Actually, there was a Mandalorian Rage somewhere. Shit! Ugh. I keep getting attacked by these guys. Ah! Stop it! That is starting to get on my nerves. Okay. So I guess I'm guessing what happens this week. Do this. This takes us back up. And it's slow as balls, so yeah, so much for that idea. Okay. guys. Okay, I, um, uh, god damn it, I have almost no health left. Okay. Well, what the hell, let's try a missile. Die assholes. Don't bother worrying about if these guys, if any of these edge lords would have a freaking uh, bounty on their heads. They don't.
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's one left? Thanks, here I am. Anyway. Here, suck missile, douchebag. Whoa! Yeah, and you can have the rest of this heavy gun, too. Okay, that guy should be dead from those lasts. Just eventually use a freaking cheat code to get all the damn secrets because I can't be fucked to find them all. Especially through all this shit. So, seven bounties killed and four captured. That's a total of eleven. Eh, not bad. And no non enemies killed. Not a bad day's work. And that is the end of chapter 4 as well. Jeez. Ugh. Man, I hate those kind of missions when you're in the crosshairs. But... That's how you beat them. Minus the part where I accidentally switched to fists instead of poison darts, because the first time I pressed the down button on the D-pad, it went to um, poison darts, the saber darts, and then the second time it went to fists. So when I pressed square to fire, That was my mistake. Anyway, so. That has been a wrap up for chapter 4. A tense partnership. This has been Star Wars Dreyhart. I am your bishop. As always, if you liked, leave a like. I mean, if you've liked this video, leave a like. Feel free to comment, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, all that good stuff. Mm. Excuse me. And please do leave a donation to the PayPal link is in the description below. 
as it will help fund me to make better content. Thank you, and I'll see you. I mean, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, and goodbye.